A son has been stabbed four times and his father injured as they fought off thieves trying to hold up their bottle shop. They believe the same bandits were responsible for a robbery at the Cranbourne North business last week. A father and son leaving hospital after a fight for survival. Just after nine o'clock last night, three males entered a Cranbourne North bottle shop armed with a knife and an imitation handgun. The crooks confronted the owners, father and son Sadul and Lovey Aurora. Lovey was then repeatedly stabbed. His father says they were fighting for their lives. Nobody is safe like this. Not I'm safe, not my neighbour safe. No, anybody is safe. After they grabbed some cash, the armed robbers were chased from the store by their victims. 29-year-old Lovey had armed himself with a cricket bat. He was also bleeding from stab wounds to his back, chest and stomach. It's the second time in less than a week the bottle shop has been robbed. Last Thursday night, two males and balaclavas made off with a small amount of stock. The victims believe that last night they came back for more. Last week, uh, he come and uh, he take easy money and uh, alcohol and he attacked again. The bottle shop opened less than two months ago. Its sore and sorry owners were too traumatised to trade today. They say they need some support from authorities in order to stand up to the criminals who are making their lives a misery. We need help to police. We need help to government. They fear the next attack on their business could be just days away. Cameron Bow, 7 News. A father and son have been stabbed during a bottle shop robbery in Cranbourne North. 29-year-old Love Aurora and his father were attacked just after 9 o'clock last night. Mr Aurora was stabbed multiple times before his father's face was slashed. The three masked men also brandished a fake handgun before fleeing with cash and alcohol. So I've actually just woken up and come straight here just to see because, yeah, they're really, really, really polite people, you know. Just wonder who does this type of stuff. Both victims are now recovering at home. It's the second time in the past week that the bottle shop has been targeted.